So we have this uh, Flask application We're using Flask, uh, NumPy, SciPy, SK Fuzzy. It's the fuzzy logic uh, toolbox for Python. I'm still not sure how well this works. Um, there was something similar for JavaScript as well, but uh, wasn't um, updated uh, in the last like six, seven years or something. So let's run this one quickly. Didn't work there. Right, so we have uh, this game. Uh, if you haven't tried it out already, please go try it out. Um, it's uh, scrolling ECG on the screen. And you have to click on the ab the abnormal uh, waveforms over there. I'll explain that in a sec. It actually should appear in here, but it doesn't for some reason. So it's the kind of stuff we have to resolve. I mean, it's technical, boring stuff. It still has to be done. Anyway, so hopefully you know how to play this game already. Let me know if I need to go over this again. And uh, currently we're trying to create a bot that will play this game for us. And then, I mean, you could compete with the bot or something, something like that. Uh, we're using it uh, with uh, fuzzy logic. By the way, is the bot still going? Yep. Sure thing. Let's get started with GitHub Copilot for your biomedical <laughs> engineering project. If you've been using Fast API alongside SK5Z Logic Toolbox for Python, that's a good choice. As for JavaScript tools, it's essential to stay up to date for compatibility. Short responses are great. Uh, don't mind you trying to be funny. I mean, not funny, just smart, uh, casual, funny. Not like ha ha ha, funny. You know what I mean? Uh, now, yeah, so we uh, having a few issues with the tool will be trying did you want to generate the code or should i get the uh, github copilot to do it uh, we're having some uh, things not uh, displaying onto the front panel html got it i'll keep it smart casual if you want to generate code github copilot can certainly help but feel free to let me know where you need assistance and we can tackle the issues with your front end html or any other problems you're facing in your project just point me in the right direction and we'll work on it together okay so let's Let's actually do both a uh, workspace. Uh, what was the problem? So the problem was the output of the fuzzy logic algorithm is not displayed on the front panel HTML page, even though we have all the components for it. Yeah, talking to two bots, it's a bit hard. Still trying to figure out how Copilot is actually deciding what code to look at, especially when you put this uh, workspace. It will uh, look at uh, all the files or not. Yeah, I'm still testing that bit. Right, so we have in fuzzy logic analysis, are we returning results? We must do. Yeah, we're returning result a front end. There's no link. Which you can just click on like the blue one there. It's a bit annoying. But this will be our game logic in Ajax request. Do we have anything Ajax? No. Why not? I'm sure you're making Ajax call to the server to get the result of fuzzy logic algorithm and then Displaying it on the HTML page. Okay, why aren't we? Why why aren't we doing this already? Pretty sure we have a fuzzy logical house. No, we do not. Okay, this is odd. We have a fetch request and do we have any get? Get tenant by T. No, that's not it. Okay, so I suspect it's giving me uh, something generic. So based on the previous response, how to update this code? I do not currently have an Ajax request, but I do have some uh, get from HTML. Yeah, we're using fetch, a fetch API. That's right in the display now. So why those are not clickable? It's pretty annoying. This should be clickable function. Okay, we're getting the element by ID, and that should be okay. Check the 
IDs, those IDs do not match. The IDs do not match. There's a click modify using Copal, but then do we always need that workspace? Can we show? Can we make sure the IDs match in JavaScript uh, to what we have in this uh, HTML? Should have been obvious, but it's not actually looking at the code. In your HTML JavaScript, you have row frequency, normalized frequency, row peaks. We do want to display essentially all the output of the fuzzy logic algorithm, so we know how the decision is made. Can you change? Yeah, so if you put this workspace, it's determining the, the structure and deciding uh, which information to collect supposedly from all the files, but then seem to be either hallucinating or I just don't understand how it works. To display all the output fuzzy logic algorithm, you need to ensure the server sends blah blah. So analyze it's a clickable link that doesn't actually work. What? Can't click on it. Why? Right, have to wait for it to finish. Okay, so in Python, sure that the analysis data function. This is the wrong analysis data. All the output. Um, wait a sec. This is all wrong. Is it actually looking at the code or what is it doing? So we have analysis data. It's currently not the function. We have it uh, mentioned six times, just a variable. This is wrong. We have process data, response data, return. Well, we're returning it as JSON. Not convinced it's actually looking at the whole code. I'm still timed out from GPT-4, are we? Yes, until another um, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes. See if uh, GPT 3.5 can write code. I need a broader context for this thing. And obviously, the GitHub Copilot uh, was a workspace uh, function. Can you explain the structure of the whole project? Yeah, we have the waveforms J. Let's see if it's uh, able to resolve basic stuff. Generate condensed compiled bytecode. Okay, we have the Python static. We have game logic waveforms templates. Uh, index HTML test by which we're not currently using. The problem was, so we're trying to display the feature values for frequency, peaks, amplitude, and the abnormality likelihood. It's essentially, what we have in here is this meant to be displayed on the front panel. Ask uh, GPT 3.5 the same question. Copart says uh, meant to be displayed on the front panel. Process that object contains the raw normalized values, frequency, positive ping, blah blah. Abnormality values present the output of the fuzzy logic. That's yes, that's correct. You can display this data in your HTML using JavaScript. Yep. Why are this clickable stuff? And display results. Need an example. I need it to tell me how to do it. If I ask to copilot fix, you end up there based on the chat discussion. What on earth is it doing? Showing an error. Well, at least this is bad. At least it's showing the actual output of the fuzzy logic. The amplitude is not changing. Should be one of those, or maybe this one has this high amplitude, but uh, there is one uh, waveform, pre recorded waveform that has a, not pre recorded, it's uh, simulated, so it's all synthetic data, but one of them is uh, different. Not this one. Yeah, the peaks should not be normalized. Now the amplitude is changing, but 
get the yeah get abnormality and defined yeah we already had some prompts uh, for this thing to to improve okay the peaks should not be normalized the peaks okay again the peaks should not be normalized i don't want just to not show them but i also don't want the fuzzy logic algorithm to use the normalized peaks but so suggesting me just to hide them but obviously that won't do it uh, based on symbols so it still generating why can't click on it set it no it's not generating what should be should be able to click on those i don't know it's not working so fuzzy logic algorithm is in a, a normalized positive peaks it's a normalized function process data analyze waveform as a logic analysis this one how is it getting it wrong there is no function called the uh, fuzzy logic algorithm there is a function called fuzzy logic analysis so is this let's make sure this is actually using the not uh, non-normalized the uh, peaks because yeah we don't need to normalize them and process that yeah this one is taking the normalized stuff so positive peaks negative peaks uh, should be a uh, raw wait a second so it's taking the whole positive peaks and it uh, has a subcomponent of raw and normalized so the question is uh, uh, when we when we do the fuzzy logic analysis so it's the api for the fuzzy logic analysis yeah i'm confused by this one how do we make sure that for the fuzzy logic analysis we use the raw uh, negative and positive peaks not the normalized version no 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 it's not good that's not good the frequency is wrong as well the frequency would not work anyway would it yes no so if we're looking at amplitude we're looking at the number of uh, negative and positive peaks we should be looking at the distances between the different ecg components the p q r s d waves and those should be within a certain range currently we have abnormality undefined and why that is we have an abnormality value it should be that's what should be displayed again if we select workspace and the error it should look at all the files in theory so it's using used six references pretty sure we have abnormality defined okay i think it's a case uh, sensitivity it might be a case sensitivity issue no, that that one's case just the text in the printout then everywhere else that should be fine okay let's go html again the id in fuzzy logic in the game logic that line there yeah that's a good idea where's the return of this thing fuzzy logic analysis it's called result just change it like this right this is better yeah that's working it should be 0.83 what it's <laughs> bizarre super weird okay can i get read of that just display it all the time anyway hopefully so this tool is already on the website go check it out it's in the ecg game you can uh, play this game yourself there's a video of me getting up to 1000 points uh, you can see if you can beat that or reach that or do any better it becomes it starts going faster and faster i think every 50 points it will increase the speed and uh, hopefully sometime soon we'll have another tool that will uh, show how a machine learning algorithm an explainable AI in the form of fuzzy logic 
will uh, be playing this game so you could compete with a bot labeling ECG data and I'll see you next time bye bye